The industrial sector in the U.S. is reportedly responsible for a fourth of the country's emissions. Now, the Biden administration is spending the largest amount ever on industrial decarbonization projects to fight climate change. The Department of Energy announced it was putting $6 billion in federal funds towards efforts to eliminate up to 14 million metric tons of industrial pollution annually, the equivalent of taking around 3 million gas-powered vehicles off the road. So how are they pulling this off? They're getting iron, steel, aluminum, food, and beverage, concrete and cement facilities on board with the effort, with 33 industrial projects funded across 20 states. For instance, one plan involves setting up a zero carbon aluminum casting plant in West Virginia using low emission furnaces powered by hydrogen. The company awarded the funding uses aluminum to produce things like cars and planes. Funding will also be used for projects like replacing a blast furnace at an Ohio Steel Company with two electric furnaces. This particular project alone is expected to eliminate 1 million tons of greenhouse gases each year. And a cement plant in Indiana is getting money for an underground carbon capture facility, which will reportedly keep 2 million tons of CO2 from escaping the atmosphere each year. The Biden administration claims the $6 billion plan will do more than cut emissions, saying it will also create and support union jobs and give a charge to U.S. competitiveness.